Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. I'm excited to be bringing you this video because I have two cards that I created with Simon Says Stamps May 2024 card kit, which is called Celestial Wishes. What I'm really excited about in this kit is the fact that I designed the stamp set that's included. It is also called Celestial Wishes, and it features a really fun assortment of images, including a sun, a moon, some moss and greenery, and of course, a variety of great greetings. Now there's also this a really cute sunny fern embossing folder that also cuts out the window around the ferns, which I think is really fun. And I'm gonna die cut that from some of this pattern paper that's included in the kit. This is the Ombre Collection from Craft Consortium. And so I'm just gonna line my paper up inside of the embossing folder and then run that through my die cut machine to not only cut out this cute little window, but also create that great embossed detail of those ferns around the edges. So I'm gonna use the sun image, which also includes a burst. So I'm gonna start first with the burst and I'm going to stamp that with a lighter yellow ink. I'm using both honey and butter from Simon's Positively Saturated Ink Collection. So I'm gonna use butter for the rays of the sun and so I'll stamp that first. That's gonna give me this really nice burst that's gonna look awesome around our sun, which is just a simple circle and we'll layer that in the center here. So I'll pick that up with the door of my Misty and then use honey to stamp that image as well. Now what's really cool about this kit is that you get a coordinating die in it and that is going to be the die for this sunburst. So I'm going to die cut this from the white card stock that I've stamped on and this is going to look amazing layered behind our sunny fern. I'm going to put this inside of the window of that sunny fern embossed paper and I'm going to put it off into this right corner. That'll look really cute coming in from the side but I did want to accent my embossing a little bit. I'm going to take a glue stick here from Simon's Stamp and very carefully, I'm not pressing hard, I'm just gently rubbing this over the raised areas of my embossed design. Then I'm going to take some gold foil, this is some deco foil from ThermoWeb, and I'm just going to burnish that into the adhesive. So the glue is going to pick up that foil and that's going to give me these really neat foiled accents on top of our fern and I love it. I think it looks so pretty. It adds a lot of fun detail and you can of course always go back in and add a little bit more glue and then press your foil into that adhesive to transfer a little bit more. But I think it just adds some nice highlights to this which I think makes for a really unique accent for this card. So I'm going to attach my fern. I am using some foam tape to do that because I do want the sun to be offset from my panel here. So I just want a little bit of depth with this. So that foam tape is going to give me that. I'll press that into the sun and then I'll use my scissors to trim off any of the excess that's hanging off the sides. That way it cleans everything up. Now there is a little bit of space showing in the back of that. So I did want to put some background color behind the sun just to fill everything in. And so I'm picking out another piece of that ombre cardstock and I'm just gonna glue this onto it. That's going to give me that nice little pink and orange tone in the background, which will go really nicely with some of this orange paper that I've cut to be a little bit larger than my fern panel. And this I'm also accenting with a little bit of that gold foil too. Just kind of a distressed look here. I just put a few scribbles of that glue here and there on my paper and then burnish the foil into it to create that look. Now I'm making a four and a quarter inch square card made from some navy cardstock, and I did wanna add some detail to it. So I picked out this beautiful embossing folder from Simon Says Stamp. It's an older leafy embossing folder, but I thought it was super cute and would go nicely with the ferns. I do have this linked below in the video description and on my blog too. But I'm going to line this up just onto the fold of my card base. And so that way I don't have any of that embossing going onto the other side of the card. I also wanted to add some inky texture to this. So I'm going to take a blue ink pad from Simon Says Stamp and just burnish that lightly over top of the embossing, as well as a white pigment ink pad. And that's going to catch on the raised areas of my embossing and just give that a little bit of contrast so it's not one flat color. So this is how I'm going to layer up my pieces right in the center of this card base. I did use foam tape for some of this just to add some dimension. I love adding a little bit of extra layer and detail, but if you don't want as bulky of a card, you could just glue this straight down onto your card base too without the extra bulk. Now for a greeting, I'm going to use one of the sentiments in the Celestial Wishes stamp set and 
also the terracotta ink cube that's included in the kit. And by the way, this terracotta ink cube as well as zest, you get both of these in your kit and they are exclusively available in the kit only. They're not available for purchase outside of the kit right now. So in addition to the terracotta though, I'm also going to add a little bit of embossing ink along the bottom of this greeting, trying to create a dip dye effect here. So that embossing ink is just going to be along the bottom of these letters and I'm going to then take some gold embossing powder and sprinkle that along that bottom area. So this almost looks like the sentiment has been dipped in gold, which looks really cool. And you'll notice I did stamp this sentiment onto some of that pink paper that we used to create the background for our sun. So this ties in nicely with the colors and I thought that it looked cool to stamp these colors on top of the patterned paper. You don't have to use cardstock for things like this. This is another great way to utilize your patterned papers. Now there are coordinating dies available for the Celestial Wishes stamp set. You only get the burst die in the kit, but if you want all of the other dies, there is a die set you can purchase as an add-on to your kit. And that would be fantastic for die cutting all the other images as well as the greetings. So I did use that here to create that nice die cut for my sentiment. And then finally using some of the warm tones, dazzling gems from Simon Says Stamp that are in the kit. I'm going to add a few of those around my card for an extra touch of sparkle. So here is card number one, which looks super cute. I love the contrasting of the blue and the orange together. It's a really striking card, very moody, but I think it has so much interest when you add some of those details such as the embossing and the gold foiling and even down to the gold dip dye effect for the greeting. So now let's make another card. This time I'm gonna do a bit more stamping and I'm going to use the two ink cubes that are included in the kit. And the images that we're using are the two leaf sprigs that are included in the Celestial Wishes stamp set. So I'm going to stamp these onto a piece of the pattern paper that I've picked out. I really like this one that has this ombre of colors going from pink to a blue shade at the bottom. And I thought that would look really pretty stamped with these leaves. And the colors that I'm using across all of these stamped images are colors that are inspired by the papers. And so you'll notice I'm placing my stamped images, those colors I'm matching up to where the paper color is. So that way everything creates more of a tone on tone effect. And it's a really beautiful way to add some interest to an otherwise very basic pattern paper. So all of the colors that I'm using today for the ink, I also have linked below in the video description as well as on the blog so you can find all of these colors. But I use terracotta, zest, watermelon, aster, marine, and tide pool. So all of these colors looked really pretty on top of this paper. And then I also wanted to add some extra special touches. So I did dry the pattern paper with my heat tool prior to doing this step, but now I'm gonna come through and add some embossing on top using this little star image that's in the stamp set. So I prepped the surface of my paper with a powder tool and then I brought in my ink and I'm going to start stamping these stars onto my paper. And I am going to sprinkle each of these with some embossing powder before stamping the next one, just so I can see where the placement is of the first. And then that's helping guide me into the placement for the next stamping. So I'm gonna add these little stars all around the edges of my paper. I really wanted to create a starry effect because I am gonna put one of the moths from the stamp set on here as well and make it look like it's flying across a sunset sky and the stars are just coming out. Very pretty and very magical. So then after stamping all of my stars, I did wanna add some extra touch to this background by splattering it with some white ink. And this is the high gloss white from Dina Wakely. This dries really nicely on top of inks and doesn't change color with the ink that's underneath. So it stays nice and bright white. I splattered that onto my background and then I did use a A2 frame from Simon Says Stamp and I cut it from some champagne gold cardstock which looks beautiful paired with these really pretty stars and it really frames everything up nicely. I'll glue this straight down onto my A2 card that I made from some white cardstock. This is not a super bulky card, unlike the first ones. Here's that moth, I love this one. It's so big and beautiful and it's outstretched wings with the patterns inside. I did ink this up onto some vellum using Versifying Claire ink. I chose this because it's black for one, but it's also a pigment ink and it's going to hold an embossing powder really easily. So because I want this butterfly to be a rich dark black color, I went ahead and sprinkled this with black embossing powder. 
And the reason I stamped with the black ink first is just in case I have any spots where the powder didn't stick perfectly, you won't even know it because it's already black underneath. So I went ahead and used my heat tool to go ahead and set this. That gives me this amazing crisp black image that looks so pretty and will stand out wonderfully on top of this colorful background. So I am gonna use the coordinating Celestial Wishes die set to cut the moth out. And I'll just hold that down with a bit of tape before running that through my die cut machine. With any butterfly or moth image that I add to my card, I always like to fold the wings a little bit just to give them some lift. And I'm going to end up putting this moth up in the top right of the card. And so that gives me some space along the bottom left to add my greeting. So my greeting, I will stamp with that same VersaFine Claire ink that gives me a nice dark black contrast there on top of the colors. And then finally, I will glue my moth along the top and I'll put him at a little bit of an angle just to make it look like he's flying through the sky. But there we go. Card number two is complete. That's all I did to create this project, featuring a lot of fun stamping and those stamping details really make this card stand out. Well, I hope you were inspired with both of these ideas that I've shared today. Both feature some really fun techniques, including stamping, bossing, adding some foiled touches. So I'm hoping that you are going to be able to utilize these ideas that I've shared today in creating some projects on your own or with the May 2024 card kit from Simons and Stamp. Thank you so much for watching today. I can't wait to come back and share more with you all. But until then, I hope you have a very happy day and thanks again for stopping by.